Okay guys, this is going to be a little update on my 1995 Toyota 4Runner, better known to the folks over in Japan, the Hilux Surf. And I just want to go ahead and make a, like I said, a quick update on what's going on with it. Um, as you probably guys remember, um, I got this car registered and now it's all legally, this car is now legal to be driven on the road. Um, and then I actually got it. I just put the 2020 sticker on this car back in 2019, just somewhere in November 2019, just before the holidays. And um, ever since I drew, uh, ever since I registered the car and driven it since then, I really enjoyed driving this car. Um, but uh, since the 1995 car, and this car is like five years older than me. This car is 25 years old. Um, it has just a little minor problem. Um, it's currently minor, but it will become major if I don't get this thing fixed as soon as possible. I have a leak going underneath. Um, as you can see, that little ball, right, that little dark spot right there, that's new. Oil, that's oil being currently dripping right now. It's coming from the. Probably won't see it, but it's actually coming from the front of the transmission bell right over there so um and it looks like the leak is actually coming from this valve cover uh, the valve cover gasket because it seems it's coming from this side of this this back part of the engine coming down to the side and seeping down towards the middle of that trans transmission case so uh, Oh, on this side, it's pretty easy to actually, um, this side's pretty much easy to uh, get to it because all you need to do is just actually remove this this air filter and um, some other hoses and stuff. And um, but on the other side I have, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass because I have to take this manifold out. Uh, this is the intake manifold, so yeah. But luckily, Lucky for me, I went to my local parts store to get myself, uh, well, I got this at Walmart, but um, I got some valve cover, valve cover gaskets over here and um, um, intake manifold gaskets. And yeah, man, looks like this has the silicone right in here, but I actually bought some silicone paste couple weeks ago so yeah um, so that's what's up with my forerunner right now it, it runs like a champ you can't you pretty much can't go wrong with a with the forerunner like these things can literally run forever as long as you take really good care of it uh, pardon pardon me because I'm going to close the, close the, the hood but yeah so you can't really go wrong with a 4Runner and this thing has been, has been a, uh, a charm for me and ever since I got this thing running since I last, when I registered it, I love the damn thing. It's really fun to drive, but just like any 25 year old car, it's going to have some issues, but that will be fixed once I am done and once I put these things onto the motor. So like I said, it's just a valve cover gasket and I don't think the air in, the air intake manifold, no, not sorry. Uh, I don't think the intake manifold really needs to be changed as far as the gasket's concerned, but to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and do it since I'm, real, I'm, since I'm already taking off the manifold anyways. So yeah, that's the uh, quick update and then I'll make a follow-up video after this is done.
Uh, just a quick little update on, on my 1995 Forerunner, aka to the folks over in Japan, the Hilux Surf. Um, we actually got the, me and my dad actually got the valve gaskets, valve cover gaskets were all replaced. But this thing is a pain in the neck because we gotta take that manifold out. That's the intake manifold if you guys are wondering. And then, but this one's actually a lot easier to get get through because um, it's more exposed. This one's just a little bit tricky and um, did break a couple of bolts. Oops. But uh, yeah, uh, looks like everything's all good. All I need to do is just go ahead and put some degreaser and put a little bit of clean this um, uh, this area up so I can actually put oh, the gasket for the intake manifold. All right, guys, this is already the third day. Um, working on my Forerunner, um, it looks like, that leak right there, looks like, actually no, um, what, a, what a surprise. It's already day three, or day four, working on the Forerunner. Those are, looks like that's old, that's probably just old, oil stains because I'm looking underneath down there I know you can't see it but that transmission bell that you're probably looking right there that silver thing I don't see any oil leaking out of there there's no oil seeping down on that middle so it looks like um, let me get a little bit down there a little bit closer just to get a better view. Yep, it's only just seeping on the side. Those two right over there. But that's all right. Uh, that's just the old oil. Since I just put the new gas, put the new gaskets in, that's not going to happen uh, for another couple of uh, uh, for a while, I should say. So that's no big deal. I can just wipe those down. Since I'm about to start the car, I might as well go ahead and check the oil. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. I can always put some more oil on it. I'm going to wipe this out. It's always a good idea to get checked the second reading. Uh, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see this due to the glare of the sun, but it looks like it's perfectly leveled. The checkup is the checkup is good. Let's go out for a drive. Engine's running smoothly. No misfire. Um, well, we actually didn't. I actually didn't take off the, um, the the injector plug, so it's not so it's not misfiring. But so far the engine's running good. It's just having its cold start. Once I see this thing go up a little bit, and once the RPM starts to go down, I'll start driving. But uh, yeah, it's doing pretty good. I need to get some gas soon. All right, let's go for a drive. Now, forgive my uh, shitty camera angle. Um, my phone holder on the dashboard is pretty darn low and um, I don't have an actual dash cam. I might have to go invest one uh, whenever I get my next paycheck uh, next week. Hopefully I'll get that. But at least if you can see the road and where I'm going, that's what matters, right? So uh, what are the upgrades? Not really upgrades. What are the things that I actually have to change on this car? Um, as I did mention in the early on in the video that 
least a couple days ago in my side, but a few minutes ago in your side, um, I this car actually suffered a valve cover gasket leakage. So it was leaking oil, and that's why you were seeing some of those oil, uh, those seeps of oil dripping down on the bottom of the transmission case, uh, at least in the front where the starter and the flywheel will be located at. So I couldn't fit there. That's how, but that fusion did. Um, I don't want to go accidentally hit this Explorer in front of me, but. Uh, yeah, so I actually bought some of the two, actually, two valve cover gaskets and a, a intake manifold gasket. Um, at least the manifold gaskets were easier to actually access to in a, in a way, but it's kind of a, a weird design because the 3VZE, which is this v, particular V6 engine, um, the intake manifold is actually on top of the motor, uh, right? And the intake manifold actually hangs over the uh, passenger side of the... So if you want to do a tune-up on this car and replacing valve cover gaskets on, like what I did just yesterday and the day before, uh, you have to uh, take off that intake manifold, uh, which is sitting on top of the engine and over the uh, passenger side of... Passenger side spark plugs, passenger side valve cover gaskets, and so and so forth. Uh, yeah, but the driver side is a lot easier to access, you know, because the only thing that's blocking is the air intake. That's it. But uh, yeah, so those are the only gaskets that I had to replace. Um, I actually supposed to be replacing the throttle body gasket mount. Um, unfortunately. I was I wasn't really it wasn't really necessary for me to actually replace it because it was still fine but when I was about to throw away some old, some old gaskets I just later found out that the the throttle body mounting gasket was destroyed so um, unfortunately the auto parts store that we were trying to call actually all the auto parts store around my area including the one near my local college they're, they don't really carry those in stock because I don't know if anybody, any car owner actually buys that. How, how often do you buy throttle body gaskets for, for a car? Uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think they really sell those pretty often. At least have them in stock for uh, very often. But fortunately, the a new uh, throttle body gasket will be shipped today at uh, the store near my local college so once they give me a call and they'll I'll go ahead and pick it up um, so in the meantime our temporary fix we literally just put uh, cardboard <laughs> we literally just cut the, the old gasket uh, we just took uh, we took the throttle body mount and we just uh, outlined it and just cut cut a hole for the for the bolts to be in and where the air will go through <laughs> it's kind of a ghetto kind of a you know like a uh, stupid fix in a way but you know it's the car is running great it's not doing anything bad it's not it, it's running smooth so but that's just only a temporary fix that's not going to be something permanent but it works it, it works so um, if you're in coming in, into that situation where oh you needed a throttle body we well, need a new throttle body mount uh, gasket but the stores don't have them in stock this is your ex only temporary fix you can do it actually does work um, I test dri driven this car just last night and I'm driving this thing now and it's running great it's doing pretty well. Anyway, so if it gets a little shaky here, uh, I please forgive me about that. Uh, like I said, um, my GPS mount is a low profile, so the phone is actually sitting on the dashboard. Uh, well, it's, st it's still on the magnet, but the holder itself is pretty darn low, and the uh, windshield is pretty close to the dashboard.
Yes, uh, part of the shaky camera quality. If I get myself a dash cam, it's not gonna be that bad. I'm just, we're gonna be work, I'm just gonna be working on what I have. smoother road and pretty much on the street no more freeways uh, this thing is gonna hopefully the camera quality is gonna be okay
Mm. This area is mainly I'm seeing cool kids coming in <laughs> with all their cool cars and stuff. And look at that Supra. All right, guys. And so that is my 1995 tell you the Forerunner uh, with the valve cover gasket replaced and a temporary replacement of that throttle body gasket using a piece of cardboard yeah i know pardon for the people talking in the background and some obnoxiously loud music in the background music that i don't even listen to but uh there you guys have it all right i'm gonna head to class is that a supra